Hey guys, welcome to this video talking about Fortnite. Um, I was planning to stream Fortnite today, but I, I don't know what has happened over the last, like, two days. It's just been, I've been feeling meh. Like, not, like, not sick, like, and not, like, coming down with something. It's just that, like, my body just feels, like, tired and I have no clue why. Well, I guess I kind of know today, since, um, I went to go volunteer today, and, you know, that always makes me tired, but it, I don't remember, like, ever feeling this tired, but, whatever, we're, we're gonna, we're gonna get through it, we're gonna get through it, and although we're not gonna stream today, I do wanna give my final thoughts on Fortnite season... 15 is yes, it's season 15 so season 15 um started dang started back in what flipping yeah it started back in november and it ran through the christmas season and now it, today march 15th 2021 where i live um this is the final day of the season, and all the Fortnite streamers, content creators, they're they're prepping for next season. And, you know, they gotta get that gotta get that ad revenue. You know, respect respect one hundred. But yeah, um, my overall thoughts on this season it, it was a very interesting one. I don't think it was bad, but I don't think it was necessarily great. If you know what I mean, like. You know, like, I thought about this beforehand, and, you know, when the season started, there was a lot of new stuff added, like, there's NPCs now, and then there's gold, which is the new currency, and then there was new locations, and then, do we have a new weapon? Yeah, I think we did. We had the Dragon's Breath, and obviously all the mythics that the, some of the NPCs sold, um... We had a lot of new stuff, and that was very promising. And then, I'd say for a little bit there, kind of right after the Christmas season, we had this little period where nothing really happened. And, yeah, it, it was... I will say, it's better this season. They did have content this season. They added three new weapons. The lever action, lever action shotgun. The Dragon's Breath shotgun, which was added at the beginning of the season. And the Lever Action rifle, those were all added this season. But, um... The Lever Action shotgun made many feel like, holy frick, can we just have the pump back? And potentially, I could be talking about tomorrow, like the pump back in the game, or we could be seeing a second straight season, or at least stretch without a pump. Which is um the best, not the best, but the um most popular gun in the game by a long shot, I would say. Um, but you know, I don't think it was terrible. I don't think the season was terrible. Uh, obviously, I'm going to talk about the mythics. Uh, I think we had like five or six new mythics at the beginning of the season, and slowly, as the season went on, like they added new ones. Um, the Hop Rock Dolies were really good. Um, I like the Chug, the, uh, Chug Splash, like, Bazooka. Or the Chug Bazooka is what I call it. I don't think it's actually called that. You know, the, uh, Bandage Bazooka that shoots Chug Splashes that you can get from Medic. And I thought that was really cool. I, I didn't get, actually, I'll probably use it tonight since I have to use all my gold. Or not all of it, but I have to use some of it because now it's going to carry over to next season. We don't even know if gold is in next season, so you never know, I guess. So, um, there was the uh, Storm Scout. The Storm Scout literally was a mythic, but it didn't get any change whatsoever. It was just the Storm Scout, and eventually it had to be disabled from um, flipping competitive play because it was too OP. It's too OP in a comp, comp play. Because you literally can just have one person hold on to it, and then you know where the storm is, and you can set up. So there's, like, no RNG. Um, hmm, what to talk about next? 
I guess that's that's just kind of a testament to how mad the season was. There like wasn't a ton that like happened. Like yeah, there was sand tunneling and there was salty towers and um, Hunter's Haven and there was the Coliseum and Stealthy Stronghold. But then, like, they hit us with all of this, like, content at the beginning of the season. And then they just didn't, like, really do much with it. Like, we had a lot of collabs this season. I don't coll- I don't think collabs are bad, by the way. I think um, Season 14 was actually handled pretty well as, like, a hard collab season. Like, one of my friends, and so was I. I was like, you know, like, it was announced that it was probably going to be, like, a huge collab season with um, Marvel, and we were like, ugh, what the frick, this season's going to suck. And then, actually, it was a pretty good season, but, um, you know, I don't have a problem with it, but it just kind of felt like the Zero Point just had so many, like, collabs. Like, we are on a collab, like, every two weeks, and then they're like, everybody's like, where the frick is the content? <laughs> like, you know, Fresh can make content about, you know, Ryu being in the game and doing a challenge, but, like, general community, you know, like, where, like, what the frick? Where's, where's a new weapon? You know, like, we only got two new weapons. <laughs> I'm not saying, like, we need new weapons or we need content, but we, like, need changes. Like, we had no map changes. We had no... We had no map changes. Um, We never really had anything, like, big happen mid-season besides the, like, yearly Christmas thing, which I guess was cool. The Christmas thing was actually kind of cool. Um, They brought planes back temporarily, which uh, replaced the uh, choppas that were... <laughs> But for some reason, uh, gone this season. Maybe they'll bring them back next season. Wow. You know, and, and like, I think one of my friends, you know, big player of Fortnite, likes Fortnite. You know, kind of feel like the loophole this season was a little meh. You know, like, they didn't really like the shotgun meta. I, I personally didn't find any problems with it. I think the tack, obviously, is, um, I'm trying to think of the uh, shotguns right now. We have the tack, the lever action. And the dragon's breath. Do we have do we have another shot? Oh, we have the charge this season. Um, I honestly think the charge was the best shotgun this season. Tack obviously being second, but now I didn't think this season the loot bowl was terrible. I mean, there were some weird inclusions, like the heavy AR. It's like a mainstay instead of like you know Kit's weapon or not Kit's. Was it Kit's? No, it was Meowskull's. Meowskull had the uh, heavy AR. Um. You know, like, and then there was TAC ARs, which you could get from IO guards, and then, you know, lever action, like, rifle kind of reminds me of the hunting rifle, you know, it, some weird stuff, weird, weird things happened this season. I don't, and I don't think it was terrible, I don't, I enjoyed my time with this season, I maxed out the battle pass, I got all the challenges, besides for the Predator, who cares about Predator? And, um... Yeah, I, I don't think the season was terrible necessarily. I thought the also talking about Predator Predators sucks is like a flipping secret battle pass skin. What the frick epic like it, you know, like why use that? Like put flipping put a Marvel character or something as like yeah, you have Disney, like what the frick is Predator? <laughs> like come on. <laughs> like even a original skin would have been better than Predator, like Predator's ugly, what the frick? You know? Like come on, Epic. But, oh well, I guess, you know, I I didn't think anything was too bad this season. Um, I liked the new, is this the first season with this new challenge? Yeah, I think it is. The season is the first season with the new, like, challenge format. I liked that. That was a really good inclusion. I thought the challenges this season were actually really good challenges. That That's a positive thing that I am going to say about this season. But... Yeah, um, that's really, like, all my thoughts. I'm just kind of rambling, and I'm not in front of a camera because I, I'm, like, so tired right now. But, you know, that that's just how it be. You know, we're going we're gonna to get this. We're grinding. We're grinding out here. So, if I finally, if I had to, like, rank it, I would say, out of, like, the five seasons I've played, I'd put it as probably three. Obviously, season 13 was number one. I loved season 13. Even though it got a little boring near the end. Season 14 is number two. I liked season 14. That brought some pretty cool stuff. The end event was also very cool. 
um, than this season, obviously, and then season one, season eleven, and then season twelve um, out of the five seasons. But you know, that's that's just my thoughts. If you have any different thoughts, or if you thought this season was absolute garbage, maybe leave it down in the comments. And uh, hey, if you enjoyed this ramble, um, maybe you should consider subscribing. Maybe you should consider dropping a like and leaving a comment and telling me. You know, I'd be down to uh, do these videos where I'm, like, not in front of the camera. And I just edit in, like, a gameplay or whatever. for Instead of, like, my face, it might be a little more entertaining. So, but, yeah, just, just tell me. Whatever, I guess. But that's it for this video. I hope you all have a great day. hope you all enjoy the event. Um, I'm volunteering again tomorrow, so I'm not going to be able to see it till like, 12, 15 or something. It's going to be fun. But yeah, um, thank you all for watching. Have a wonderful day. And like, comment, and subscribe. Bye-bye.